All right, hello everyone. Rob here with ScrappyDo.com, and in this video, we're going to talk a little bit about uh, what, what's gone on in the Cricut updates as far as Design Space goes uh, inside Cricut Design Space 3. I, I know it's been a little bit since we've done an update video, uh, so some things are obviously new. And let's go ahead and start with the very first one that happened to come out today, uh, which is uh, you know canvases. Uh, na now they're called uh, templates, but anyways, you can find it right over here. Uh, it looks like a little t-shirt and something else that you're going to notice down here in your layers panel is uh, you know basically a canvas layer uh, just like before in previous uh, versions of design space uh, this was a you know a heavily utilized uh, feature that was missed in design space 3 I, I don't think that uh, Cricut the design team realized how much people use this uh, but it's there to sort of give you a guide on uh, you know a certain item, whether that be backpacks, shorts, uh, even uh, phones. You know, so if I go ahead and type in the word phone here, we actually have smartphones, and so uh, this is what it's going to look like. Uh, that little uh, banner at the top. Uh, you know, it's intended for references only uh, and will not be saved with the project. Uh, obviously, down here you can now see that we do have uh, a brand new. Uh, little icon here so we have that uh, we have the little eyeball so we can turn it on and turn it off and then we also have a way to color the template so uh, you can still give it colors uh, just like you would any other kind of layer but it's used as a reference only now how do we uh, adjust the phone type well it's right here so if we go ahead and select the layer that controls the uh, template we have options here and you're going to see this for a variety of features whether that be shirts uh, and sizes and, and stuff like that but obviously we have Apple Android the two major ones and then you, you have the various options here so that way you can use this as a template so that you can uh, put your own designs on something maybe you wanted to make this uh, you know a simple uh, diamond card here so uh, just allows you to line things up, get them exactly the way that you'd want uh, so that you can create your own look and make sure that you have everything all sized correctly as well. So that is uh, brand new to Design Space 3. That just happened today. Let's go ahead and talk a little bit about some stuff that uh, you know, that we missed uh, missed a couple couple of weeks uh, slash months ago so uh, one of the things that we've missed uh, that wasn't originally there in the, the initial launch of design space 3 is uh, the good old-fashioned right click of the menu so uh, obviously if we have a shape here selected if we right click we never got that before with uh, design space 3 in the beta uh, until about a month ago and anyways you, you're able to move things to the front you can move things to the back if you select multiple shapes uh, obviously you can uh, have more things available to you. You got the attach, the slice, the weld, and the flatten, um, and you know obviously the unflatten. So you have a lot more options available to you, uh, right where the mouse is, so that you don't have to roam over here and uh, adjust things. So that was a nice feature as well. And then the the other thing that was in an, an update about the same time that the right click came into play which is uh, from the from the iPad if you're familiar with using the iPad uh, you were able to uh, change items on your mat so say for example um, this red right here I really need to have this with with on this uh, mat over here the number six mat well before we'd always have to cancel and then make it the same color well in design space three currently it has the three little dots that you see I'm gonna hover my mouse over here and if I click on it uh, we have the option to either hide that selection altogether or we can move it to another mat and when we click on move it to another mat you can see right here the current mat uh, mat number seven is 
uh, faded out, which means obviously we can't move it back on that mat, but we can move it over to mat six. So I'm going to go ahead and click on confirm. And then you're going to see that uh, my number seven mat is no longer has anything on it, which is fine. And then I have the, uh, the new shapes here. So you, you will have to move them around uh, to exactly where you need them. But at least now you do have the ability to uh, move them from mat to mat. Now, a couple things before you uh, start playing around with it. Keep in mind if you happen to change the project copies and you hit apply, it's going to let you know here that this will undo all the hide and move changes that you have set forward with this. So keep that in mind when you're when you're doing the stuff. It may be even easier for you because uh, once we have this many uh, items, it's probably much easier for you to simply just go back, uh, you know, hit cancel and just move these shapes to a different color because I have to click on each single one of these to do it that way. Uh, there is no, uh, you know, maybe this will be in a future update where we can select multiple uh, items. Uh, as of right now, it's just simply uh, one shape at a time. So that is what is new. Just wanted to put out a quick little update video for the Cricut Design Space 3 users out there uh, that haven't really uh, played around with it uh, since, since it came out of beta. So hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. And we'll, we'll see you next time.